Welcome to this week's Full Steam Ahead, a program combining fun projects and learning about science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. As always, I'm your host and resident youth services librarian, Eric Mahalitz. In today's session, we are going to talk about and create something that has been used primarily in warfare since 400 BC catapults. We'll cover a little bit of the history of catapults, we'll go over potential and kinetic energy, and we'll build our very own catapults. I'm going to show you how to do it in two different ways, and hopefully you'll be inspired uh, to try even more ways on your own. Let's get started. First things first, what is a catapult? A catapult is a mechanism used to launch something a great distance without the use of gunpowder or other propellants. Ancient Greeks and Romans used these oversized crossbows to sling rocks and other projectiles at invading armies. These largely defensive machines often worked by creating huge amounts of tension that would be released suddenly to hurl large objects over great distances. Which leads me to the concepts of potential and kinetic energy. Potential energy is the energy held by an object because of its position in relation to other objects. For example, Think about the water being held back by a dam, a bike at the top of a hill, a yo-yo before it's released, a kid at the top of a slide. A catapult exhibits potential energy when it is pulled back and ready to be released. It's in that tension. Kinetic energy, on the other hand, is the energy that an object possesses when it is in motion. So think about that water being released by the dam, the bike racing down the hill, the yo-yo being flung downward towards the ground, or the kid zipping down the slide. With a catapult, kinetic energy exists when the tension is released and the catapult slings whatever has been loaded into it. Now, to highlight all of these concepts a bit more, let's build some catapults. Okay, so here we are in the laboratory, ready to build our catapults. We have all of our materials set up here. Uh, we've got craft sticks. We've got rubber bands. We've got um, some glue. We have bottle caps, which I've already uh, glued onto my craft sticks. I'll talk about that a little bit more. And we've got some cotton balls and a cork for version two of our, our catapult. So the first uh, version of our catapults that we're gonna build right now are these. So we can set aside our cork. Um, and the first thing that you will want to do is go ahead and glue your cap to your craft stick and you're gonna to wanna to let that sit for, um, you know, let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes. Um, and I did have to re-glue mine, mine came off. I got a little, little vigorous with it, um, but you'll discover that uh, for yourself. So the first thing we're gonna to do to make this catapult here is we're gonna make this middle part. And to do that, I've put together eight craft sticks. So grab eight craft sticks, count them out, and put them together. Make a stack for yourself. 
And to that, we are going to add a rubber band on each end. And some kiddos might need some help from uh, a parent or guardian for this. So in order to do this, I'm going to place a rubber band on an end. And then you want to give a twist, put it over the top, twist, put it over the top, twist, put it over the top. And do the same thing on the other side. Ready? Can you help me? Absolutely. Yeah. Yet another full steam ahead activity here, working on those fine motor skills. Okay, and this set of craft sticks here, this is going to act as, if you look again at our finished catapult, acts as what's called a fulcrum, or um, kind of our balance point. And that's what helps create a lot of the, the tension for our catapult. Okay, so now that you have your um, set of, your stack of craft sticks, what we're going to do is we're going to place another craft stick into a gap. We're going to create a gap between um, one of the craft sticks and the rest. Now this is a little tricky as well. So here, why don't you go ahead and stick a craft stick in there. Okay. And then you can see on this one about how far I poked it out the other side. There's, you know, just about a half to three quarters of an inch um, out the other side. And so the only thing wrong with this one is that the one we're doing right now is going to be our bottom. So we want this one to be our craft stick that doesn't have um, a bottle cap on it. Okay, so here, why don't you go ahead and poke that in there. All right. Perfect. So that's where we're at right now. And now we're going to attach our craft stick that does have the uh, bottle cap on it. And so the first thing that we're gonna do there, mm -hmm. so we're gonna put a rubber band on the end, which is going to connect this craft stick to this craft stick and hold those together over here, okay? And again, um, some kiddos might need a little help with this part. Uh, it can be a little tricky to hold this together and rubber band it. But the same, we're gonna do the same thing we did for this rubber band and this rubber band. Put it around, twist. And repeat until it's nice and tight. We want to, to keep those together as best we can. Okay, so now it should look something like that. Now the last, we want to put one more rubber band on here. And that is perhaps the trickiest one of all. And that's going to go around our middle here and help connect our arm 
arm, the arm of our catapult and the base of the catapult to our uh, fulcrum. And so to do this part, <laughs> So I'm going to put this rubber band around here and twist and go over the other side. So I've got kind of a figure eight going there. And then I'm going to twist this again and come over. And all the way back. And I'll show you, try to show you that one more time. Um, again, this is, I don't even know if that was perfect, but it works. It's, um, my fulcrum is now uh, connected to the arm and the base, um, and it's sort of kept where it is on all sides by that rubber band. Okay, so now this thing is pretty, pretty secure. Okay, so now we have completed, you wanna hold yours up? we have completed catapults, our, our version number one. So now you can set this down on a, on a surface. And uh, one thing I will say too is, so when we attached our bottle caps to the um, craft stick, leave a little gap at the very end there. That's a good place to put a finger or a thumb um, to press down on. So now we can put our cotton ball in our shooter there, press down. Yeah. All right. And you might want to try holding down the base while you press down. You can try uh, holding down both um, at the point here and at the base while you bring your arm down and firing that way. So for version number two, is everybody ready? Let's set these ones aside and we can put together version number two. So version number two, I've put one together here. This one just uses two craft sticks and a cork <clears throat> and the rubber bands on this one are the exact same setup as these two rubber bands on this version. So they're gonna go on exactly the same way. Um, wind, do you have your two and your cork? Do you wanna try and put the rubber band on this time? No? We also have this here. Okay. Yeah, so we also have some handy protractors nearby. If you want to measure the angle of your catapult, um, and you will notice that certain angles will um, make your cotton balls go uh, higher and less distance, more distance and less height, more distance overall. Um, that's a fun, a fun way to take this activity to the next level, to play around with your angles and measure distances, create little targets for yourself. But again, so this is what we are creating. Again, this just doesn't have the cap on it. And for comparison, you can see the cork 
is a little thicker as well than our craft sticks and um, will naturally probably give you a slightly bigger angle, which uh, I'll give you a little hint. This one, this angle is going to create more force uh, and give you more distance than this first one. Okay, do you want to show, launch this one a little bit? Let's, how about we do a little comparison? How about one of you shoot the version one? I'm gonna shoot the version two. You wanna do version two? Wait, 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 I'll count down. And we can shoot them straight towards the camera, okay? On three, one, two, three. Oh, so it looked like version two definitely won out on that little trial there. And there you go, we've got Again, two different catapults that we made here today. One uh, using craft sticks, rubber bands, and a bottle cap. And one uh, essentially replacing the craft stick fulcrum with a cork. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's Full Steam Ahead. As always, I hope you had fun and learned a little something along the way. See the link in the description for more information and subscribe to the Kent Library YouTube channel. I look forward to seeing you next time on Full Steam Ahead.